What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Eagle and today we are playing Classic WoW. We are going to be completing the multiple steps for the Paladin Epic Mount. Um, there are several different steps and two different chains that you need to follow. So one of the two uh, quests that they give you, um, this quest is before the one that I'm on but it is called collection goods and this is for the barding or saddle um, for this quest you need to have six arcanite bars uh, I believe 10 Arthas tears 5 holy water 40 rune cloth and 150 gold and you turn this into the dwarf in the dwarven district in stormwind and then it gives you the barding and you need to take it to the cathedral to get blessed but there are only two quests in that step uh, you just turn in the goods you gotta get the goods so you gotta turn in the goods first and then it gives you the barding and then you go get it blessed and it becomes a holy paladin barding or it was a blessed barding and then you can continue with the rest of the steps so after you complete that set of quests which are only three at that point uh, the next one is going to be doing the quest step for the sensor which is the one that I'm on um, you have to pay 150 gold to your paladin class lead in Ironforge and they give you an unblessed sensor you take it to Stormwind and you get the sensor blessed and then you're on the same step that I'm on and it give that that quest gives you a sensor that you can use on the ground and uh, for the quest as you can see here okay so after you get your sensor blessed you are sent to uh, Eastern Plaguelands and that is where you'll be using your sensor um, you're sent up here to Teradale and you have to kill spirits using the sensor so all that you do is you run up to these little green spots on the ground and you're gonna click your sensor and it'll it'll spawn uh, one to three of these uh, Teradale uh, spirits you can solo all three of them uh, I have done before it is a little tricky and a little risky um, it is easier with someone else however it is possible by yourself so but you're gonna also want to get 25 of these so I'm gonna burn through these 25 or these last remaining 25 uh, should be pretty simple so we will see y'all back here when I'm done and I've vanquished all these 25 spirits <laughs> Okay, so now that we got that quest out of the way, the next step to our questing, 
our epic pally mount is. Um, after we, we need to go back and we need to go turn this uh, this quest in. To, let's look. Uh, we just need, I believe, to go back to Stormwind. Yep, we need to go back to Stormwind, and then we can turn it in. Um, the next, a couple things that you're gonna need for this, for the, for these upcoming quests. You're gonna need uh, another extra 50 gold. You're gonna need about 20 enriched mana biscuits from Argent Dawn. Yes. Uh, so you're gonna need uh, the enriched mana. Uh, mana biscuits that you need to be at least friendly with Argent Dawn but by this time I would I would think that you you should be at least friendly or revered with Argent Dawn um, but you are gonna need 50 gold alright um, the next thing you're gonna need is you're gonna also need one uh, Azerothian diamond and one pristine black diamond. So we're gonna go turn this quest in, and then we're going to uh, see what the next step is. I believe the next step is going to Dire Mall, where you would need the enriched mana biscuit and also 50 gold. All right, so you can go ahead and turn this quest in, uh, collect your three gold, uh, go ahead and accept the ancient uh, Equine Spirit. This is going to be the quest that takes you out to Dire Maul, as you can see there. So we're going to go ahead and accept it. Um, so you're going to need to head to Dire Maul uh, West is where the quest is going to be. This will be after, or the spirit will show up after you kill the Warmwood boss. Um, but before any of that, we need to go ahead and head up to one of the Argent Dawn camps in either east or west, as you can see here. And we need to pick us up some enriched mana biscuits. That way we can fly down to South Shore and spend the 50 gold to get our horse feed so we can complete the quest. So now that you bought your enriched mana biscuit, and where you buy that, you can go to Eastern or Western Plaguelands. Click here, and it's just going to be one of the uh, officers that's sitting there. You need to be, once again, friendly with Argent Dawn to get them. It costs about 24 silver each, and you get about five of them. Uh, every buy so you just buy 20 and then you're gonna come here to South Shore to the horse breeder and this is where you will pick up the quest for special uh, mana enriched horse feed you need something? you'll need 50 gold and then the 20 biscuits so once again after you get your uh, horse feed you are going to go ahead and head to DM West, and that is where you're going to kill the Wormple boss, as you can see here. This is the layout for DM West. Um, Wormple will be at number two. Um, there are roaming trees that walk around. There's about seven of them. Be sure to kill those, or they will come and attack you when you try to uh, defeat the boss. After you kill the boss, there will be the Equa Spirit that you give your horse feed to and then you can continue on to the next part of the quest all right so we are at dm west now uh some uh some quests got accepted accidentally so i didn't get to show you all the turn in for the enriched mana feed but that's okay uh, so the plan is to kill all seven of these trees that you see in front of me um so you're going to kill all seven of these trees before you go attack the boss and then after you kill all seven you can go kill the boss 
and then you can uh, then feed the horse. So I'm going to speed this up uh, so y'all aren't waiting so much. Um, so we'll see y'all when we get to the boss. I should note that you do not have to kill the mana uh, remnants or the elementals that are in the middle around the crystal unless you plan on doing uh, the full dungeon which is what we did so it took a little longer however you can just kill the trees and if you can get through the middle without pulling anything or get around you can go straight to the boss I do not believe you have to pull the elementals however if you're already in west you might as well com complete and get some gold out of it um, so we will see y'all when we get to the boss Alright, so here we are at the boss. Uh, you're just gonna do the boss like normal. Um, just go ahead and kill him. There's nothing special you have to do. Uh, just burn him down as quick as you can. And then after you kill the boss is when the horse will show up. Alright, so now you can see uh, here's the ancient spirit. You're gonna need your barding that you were given and also the mana enriched feed. Go ahead and uh, hit continue and complete quest now go ahead and accept the next quest uh, this quest is to take all of this back to uh, Lord Grayson in Stormwind and then after that we go in to Skolomance uh, get your uh, party ready because this one is going to be a tough fight okay so you just defeated the Wormwood boss in DM West and you talk to the spirit horse and you gave it the enriched mana bisque, or enriched mana feed as well as the barding and it should have given you a blessed arcanite barding um, so you're gonna go ahead and complete the quest um, and this next quest um, the scryer is where you're gonna need your azerothian diamond uh, as you can see here, you're going to need your Azerothian Diamond, as well as your pristine Black Diamond. So I hope y'all got them already. Um, so if they're already in your, in your inventory, easy enough, you can just go ahead and hit Complete. And it'll give you the next step. The, this last step is for Skolomance. You're going to go into Skolomance and uh, into Rattlegore's uh, dungeon now there's a certain way that this needs to be done so uh, go ahead and fly out to Skolomance and I'll see you when we get out there alright so we are at Skolomance um, you got your uh, party with you I'm running with uh, four pallies and a warrior um, you can run with whatever you want however as a heads up these spirits give a curse that uh, mages can decurse, which is nice. Uh, the curse increases physical damage by 90 uh, extra damage, so it just makes it a little easier. Um, something that you need to know: uh, there are mechanics for this uh, event that you start. Um, so first things first, you're gonna want to kill uh, the whole uh, the whole basement where Rattlegore is. So kill all the skeletons, kill Rattlegore. Um, and then the event starts when you place your scryer down on top of the hill that Rattlegore was at. So in this event it spawns four waves um, and each wave you can only use a certain type of seal on and you can only judge with that. Um, if you use the wrong seal or if you judge with the wrong seal it will do double damage to you. If you seal if you judge with the right seal it will it will uh, stun the the enemy every time you hit them so uh, just something nice to know don't do double damage to your party okay um, so for wave one they are called the banal spirit and you need to judge them with seal of wisdom 
uh, for the second wave they are called the malicious spirit you need to judge seal of justice for the third wave they are called corrupted spirit you need to judge with seal of righteousness for the fourth wave uh, they are called shadowed spirit you need to judge with seal of light so um, at the end of each wave so at the end of one two three and four there will be many bosses that spawn they will hit a little harder and they have a little extra health there are just many bosses however at the end of the fourth wave after the mini boss uh, the final boss will spawn and his name is uh, Death Knight Dark Reaver and uh, he will spawn in the middle by the sensor uh, he does MC he does mind control so be wary of that um, but after you kill Dark Reaver uh, the Dark Reaver's fallen charger will spawn uh, you need to loot the charger's soul from the death knight and then use the the item that you get to uh, redeem the charger's soul once that is done uh, turn in blessed arcanite uh, barding to the fallen charger and after that congratulations you have gotten your charger uh, so something you need to know about this fight um, there are certain places you places that you can stand that will make this fight a whole lot easier um, you do not want to stand in the middle uh, as you'll see because it will aggro the whole room um, where we stand up in the corner will be the best place because you can also line of sight certain uh, certain enemies that spawn so we're gonna go ahead and skip down to after we kill Radagor and I'll see you then alright so now that we cleared out Radagor's uh, chamber you are going to place the scryer on top of this hill that I'm on right here um, back there in the corner is where you'll stand uh, so you're gonna place the scryer right here on top of this hill right in the center um, and then the gates will shut and then you'll start the event of the four waves of ads so we're gonna jump into discord again and see if they're ready We can line a sight close to this pillar, either side of it, depending on where they're casting from. So if they're casting, just make sure you line a sight to get them close. Okay. Alright. I'm ready when you are. Wisdom justice. Yeah, we all do. Right. Right. Good. Are you all ready? Already. I'm ready. That's me sick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. We're on this new planet.
What's this one? Light? Light. Remember these are the casters, so line of sight. Come over by me. Yep. Come over by me, I'm gonna die. When you want to get off the darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too Oh, get back, 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 back. I lied. Let's kill him. I thought it was another way for some reason. Freaking up. Nuke him. Can we judge anything on this guy? Or is it white? Uh, I don't know anything. Light would be cool. I think we're fine. Just it. Look at that threat, man. I love this build. It's crazy. I know y'all got salvation. I don't care. Uh, so we just killed the Dark Reaver. Uh, got the. Uh, charger's lost soul you're gonna use the lost soul on the charger then you're going to talk to the horse then you complete quest and then from there who should be able to summon your pally epic map here to the last there it is Uh, so I want to, if you did all, every, all the steps right, I want to congratulate you on getting your Pally Epic mount. It was no small feat, so congratulations. And if you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see y'all on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.